Before you download and start using one of the custom themes that are available from my website, you'll need to first of all make sure that your Typekit account has the appropriate fonts synchronized to your PC or your Mac. So in this case here, probably the easiest way to do that is to open up Adobe Captivate and select an object that has type or, or fonts associated with it, just like this title area here. Uh, that will show you your properties panel and you'll be able to see the font associated with that object. To the right of that font selection dropdown is the type kit um, button over here and this will take you to uh, typekit.com and allow you to find the fonts that you're looking for. Um, in this case here we're looking for the relation font and this is the uh, script that's used for titles throughout this particular theme here. Now there are, there are four fonts associated with this um, in this case here, if I'm not mistaken, I only use the relation bold. So you have a choice. You can just synchronize this one font here, and this will count as one font against whatever your plan covers. Um, or you could sync all four. In this case here, I'm just going to sync all four for ease of use. And while that's doing that, of course, I can return to this uh, this particular project, click on the type kit icon uh, again just to bring me to the correct page and now I can search for the um, the other font that I'm looking for. And in this case here there it is. I'll click on that font. Now, in this case, there are quite a few fonts. So again, you may want to be a little bit more selective over which of the variations on this font that you choose to sync, uh, depending on your account. I'm going to sync all for now because I have quite a few fonts still left in my availability. Um, and this is fine for me. And certainly I can get rid of extra fonts later. Uh, so now I can minimize my browser, go back to my project here and we can double check that these fonts are in fact installed by looking at the character drop down selection area here and you'll see that there is relation and uh, another variation of relation as well as Serix sans so those are now available uh, in my type kits list of fonts so what I can do, of course, is download that font from my website. And let's just download this to my desktop. And that's fine. Uh, as far as where you save a theme, it literally doesn't matter where you save a theme. Uh, some people subscribe to the belief that you should save the theme in the actual theme folder. Uh, you can do that. One thing that might be useful is to save the theme with whatever project it's associated with here. Uh, but I'm just using this for the time being, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so if I click on the themes icon in my toolbar and Captivate, um, we can browse to where that theme is located. In this case, it's on my desktop. And I'm going to select that and click on Open. And it's going to take this very simple project and convert it with all of the colors, branding, and of course fonts associated with this particular theme. So as you can see now, we have a completely customized look and feel for this particular Captivate course, thanks to Adobe Typekit, and of course, thanks to Captivate Themes. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.